Does anybody else feel like they need a little extra motivation before doing work this year? It's uh, definitely a quarantine version, but uh, we're going to make it work. We have a couple of things that we're going to plan to do a little bit differently than last year, obviously. I mean, I for sure have not been working on upper body strength at all. <laughs> I've definitely been doing more running than anything, but I have not been picking up any weights or doing a whole lot of body work, body weight work. So my plan is to do a half Murph. I'll still do the mile run to start, but all of the reps for the pull-ups, push-ups, and squats will be halved. And instead of pull-ups, I think I'm going to do bent over rows. I hate bent over rows. And all I have are 25 pound dumbbells, so it's going to hurt. I'm going to hate it, but it's all for the greater purpose. So I made a Spotify playlist. It's like an hour long. I should probably add a couple more songs, but I've got some Wonder Woman soundtrack music. I have Fall Out Boy. I have, uh, who else? I just kind of put it together this morning, but uh, let me know in the comments if you want to link up with my playlist that I made. It's actually got a little bit of everything on there, so I'm pretty much set. Sometimes when I start getting a little overwhelmed with the workout. I just zone in on the music and try and either move to the tempo of the music or just listen to it <laughs> so that I can keep my mind occupied uh, besides what I have to do. Okay, you can't see me, but we're all warmed up <laughs> and uh, sweating already. It's going to be a sweaty one, so we're going to go down this run. I'll see you when we get, when we get back and then we're going to do 10 rounds of Cindy with dumbbell rows instead of pull-ups. Okay, here we go. Five rows, 10 push-ups, 15 squats, eight music back on. Bye. Cindy rounds probably three or four before I did and I was just thinking wow go me last year and the year before for doing 20 rounds of that crap that was uh probably the perfect amount of challenge and um movements and weights like that I pro probably could have set up for myself for not having been as active as I usually am uh the run 
the first run felt really good, probably because I was really excited to be moving. <laughs> and then uh, I had my, my Wonder Woman music on, so I was good on the first run. And probably the first, like, four rounds of Cindy, and then it just... From there. As Mark does. Yeah. <laughs> the second run was uh, a struggle run. It was like, for me, I did... Like, I would see a parking sign, and then I would just say, okay, go to the next parking sign, or go to the fire hydrant, or just go to the next telephone pole, and then you can walk a little bit. It was a lot more walking than I wanted to do, but it needed to be done, so. Then I sprinted at the end, so it's okay. How'd yours go? It was good. I think, like you said, with not moving as consistently with the quarantine and everything that's going on, scaling appropriately was important. It's easy to let... You know, this is what the fifth or sixth year we've done Murph, yeah, and I've and I've it. always done it straight through hundred, two hundred, three hundred, like vest everything. So from an ego standpoint, of course, like your pride wants to just be like, yeah, I'm just gonna do it the way I've always done it because that's RX. But you have to look at the big picture, and even before the quarantine, I wasn't working out the way I had been. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Scaling it appropriately was the important part, and I I used thirty five pound dumbbells. I used, used twenty five, which so was pretty good enough. pretty significantly scaled when you talk about going from hundred pull ups straight into two hundred push ups all at once to do it Cindy style with bent over rows with probably lighter dumbbells. Uh, it, it takes you know your pride takes a hit, but it's the right thing because I finished everything at forty seven minutes, and I think my PR for regular Murph is like an hour three, an hour four, something like that. Mm -hmm. Today I finished the half Murph at 57 minutes and 50... 56 seconds. Six seconds. And my normal Murph is about 72 minutes and change. So I did finish that about, what, 20 minutes faster than my full Murph. But that's also having not been working out consistently for the last few months. So... Usually when I know Murph is coming up for like the two months beforehand, I'm in the gym consistently trying to keep that in mind and um, just pace myself on those rounds. Just try and stay consistent with how many push-ups I was doing uh, or how I was breaking up the pull-ups. This time it was just more like rest as much as you need to. The fact that you're even doing it counts. <laughs> doesn't matter how fast or how slow you finish it, just do it. The walk, walking was mentally hard for me to let myself do, but it needed to be done because I, again, just not in the same shape that I was while the gyms were open. But it just felt very good to really push, and I didn't throw up. I haven't worn a vest since Japan, I think. And when did you get back well, to Japan? Well, that's not true. I've worn a vest since then, but I haven't, like, worked out worked in, out. A, in a vest since then. Um, so that was a mental kicking the pants. Uh, and then that last mile, my goal to myself was to not walk. So there was some severe shuffling going on, uh, but the momentum didn't stop. So that was that was my test. Yeah, what's the temperature out today? Like 80? Probably 80 something. What's the temperature outside right now? It's about 81 degrees. 81, 81 degrees. So say Celsius, six, oh, hi, Augie. Goodbye. 27.2 Celsius, so. <laughs> Uh, that's, uh... It's warm. Yeah, definitely warm enough. It's not 29 palms warm, but, but we warm. did it. I hope we got enough footage for you guys to kind of see the difference between the first two rounds and the last two rounds, so you could just kind of be there with us. Here comes Augie again. Um, I, if you did it, I hope that you're proud of yourself for getting out there and actually doing something today. I think that even though uh, we're all in different places this time around, it's really the spirit of doing Murph that you're doing it for something bigger than ourselves. Like a cat. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, be proud of whatever your outcome was, whatever scaling you did, or if you did have the opportunity to do full out all the way through. Either way, we still did it, and I hope that you guys are still hanging in there. Uh, and we'll get back into the gym together sometime soon. Also, if you need some more content to keep yourself busy, Andy has been working really hard on our honeymoon vlogs on his channel, so yes. I will 
put that over here. You should definitely go check that out. It will bring you along the highlights of our three week long honeymoon cruise that we took last summer or last fall. So uh, yeah, definitely go see. I love looking back on all the memories and having you guys see it too is uh, really special to me. So, oh, my battery's about to die. Talk fast! And if you want a recap of how my work, my, my work went last year, go <laughs> check out my other cha my channel post that's called Murph. Uh, that is my full 20 rounds with the run. It's more of a montage, but I have my before thoughts and I think I have my after thoughts on there too of how it went. So that'll give you more of an idea of how Murph usually goes for me. But that being said, thank you for watching. I will talk to you guys again soon. Whenever that is, you know how it goes over here, but yeah. Goodbye. <laughs>